Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we will build a new ReactJS project. In this video, you will learn how to create or how to build a QR code generator app with ReactJS. You will be able to write code in order to let users on your website generate a QR code for any text that they type in and also download that QR code on that device right so now without further ado let's begin the project i have created a new react project this is my app.js file so let's begin coding first of all let's remove all of this dummy code right now uh, before we begin, we need to install a UI library. For this tutorial, we are using a UI library called Prime React. It's my first time using it as well. Let's see how it looks. So we'll install it in our project. The library has been installed. And then we'll also install another package to generate the QR codes. Uh, this package is called QR code. And so now the package has been installed. So let's begin uh, coding. First, let's check out the documentation for this UI library to see what are all the components that this library gives us. And seems like pretty standard library and all the components that you get in any other library. Okay, so now let's give our app a heading. We'll call it QR code generator. Here's our heading. Now what we need is we need to create uh, an input box and the user will type some text there maybe a url or any other text and a button that says uh, generate code qr code and when that button is clicked then we'll generate the code and display it right so our first step uh, is user input second would be to generate the code and third would be to uh, download the QR, right? So let's uh, grab an input box component, which is this. Uh, we can also get a text area instead of just a text input, right? So let's grab this one and paste it here. Then we'll import it. And another thing to do is before uh, using this library, we need to set it up. And to do that, we'll need to import this in our index.js. Right. And then we'll wrap it like this. Our app inside of the provider like that. Let's try and import a button just to debug. And here as well, we'll get the input text area. Now what we need to do is we need to create a state variable to hold the user input, which we'll call query. We'll use the use state lifecycle hook to define this state variable, which will initially be an empty string. And this is how you import the use state hook, right? And then we'll substitute the query and hook it to this text area. Okay, uh, so instead of this, we'll just get that. Uh, 
Okay, so this is how we import the text area. Yeah, now it works and our user can type in anything. Now let's also grab a button then. So here's the button, right? Let's copy the import. And then copy this as well. Right. And the label will say generate QR code. Okay. For some reason, the button is unstyled. Could that be because we need to bring in the styles? Uh, maybe from here. Yeah. So we need to import the styles uh, like this. And it seems this is one of the themes. So there could be other themes. Let's check out the themes. Okay, so there's a bunch of different themes. Uh, how about we use this one? Right? Yeah, so for this tutorial, let's go with this one. And let's create a line break between the text area and the button. So now user can type something and the button uh, to click to generate the QR code. So now uh, let's create an on click handler and this will call the generate QR function. Right now we need to define this function. This will be an arrow function. And let's make it an async function as well. Now inside of this, let's write some try catch block for error handling. And we'll just log the error to console. Now, what we need to do is, we'll call the QR code dot to data URL function, right? And where does this QR code come from? We need to import it from the QR code package. Mm. Should this be a default import or like this? Yeah. So <clears throat> on QR code dot two data URL, we'll call the query. We'll pass the query. So the user entered text is passed to QR code dot to data URL function, which will return a data URL, which would be the URL of the generated QR code image. Now we need to save this uh, URL in a state variable. So we'll just call this variable QR URL and here as well QR URL and it will be an empty string at the beginning. And after the QR code has been generated, we'll save the URL in the state variable, right? Now what we need to do is we need to display the QR code once it has been generated. So we'll check for the QR URL, right? And we'll check for its length. And if it's non-zero, then we'll display something, 
right? And let's see, we'll display the QR code in an image. Let's check for an image component. We could use a card component. Yeah, let's go for a card component, just a simple one. So let's copy this. And also let's copy this. Right, and we'll call it QR code. Right, so let's take it for a spin. Right, so now this card is being displayed, but we need to show the QR code within this. So we'll show an image, and the source for that image will be. Uh, the QR URL right and the alt will just call it QR code see and as you can see here is our QR code we can give this card a width probably uh, let's check for some props Uh, right, let's try and give it some styles ourselves. We'll say fit content and we'll give it a margin to center it. Let's say zero auto and instead of zero, let's say 10 VH. Right, and we'll also give it a min width. Right, let's say 30 VW or maybe 20. Right, we can also increase the size of this, Im this image as well. Let's say, like for example, 20 VW. Yeah something like that. so let's just do that yeah so now here's our QR code and I'll just go ahead and try and test it by scanning it on my phone and you can do the same to verify this and yes the code uh, the text is decoded to be what is in the input box right so this is basically the QR code app you can uh, use even encode any URL that you want to share with someone and you can see that the QR code changes for that right and uh, yeah this is a pretty common app now the next thing that we can do is allow a user to download this image right so one thing they can do is save image as and then they can save that image but it would be good to have a button as well to allow them to download right so let's create a download button so what we need to do is below our image once the image is displayed will show a button like this and we'll just say download and on click they should call the download QR code function so now let's write the download QR code function and we'll create it with an arrow function syntax right we'll create try catch blocks and we'll just log the error or maybe we alert 
we can show an alert that says fail to download right now in the try block what we need to do is we need to create a link an invisible link so we'll do is with javascript like document dot create element and we'll create the a element and then we'll attach the href for this link to be the qr url which is the url of our qr code and then we'll do link dot download equals encode uri component right and basically we we are defining the name of this file so you could give it any name let's say qr code right and then after you have defined the name uh, we need to make this link invisible so we'll define the link dot style dot display to be none so now this link won't be visible on the screen and then we need to click this link with javascript so that it's downloaded so on basically what we are doing is we are creating a link a download link for the qr image and on click that uh, uh, the link will be clicked to download the QR code image, but the link won't be displayed on the screen. Right. And after the QR code has been downloaded, we need to remove the link from the document body. So we'll do document dot body dot remove child and link. Right. So let's save this and let's try it out. Here is a download button. If we click on this, we should be able to download this QR code. And uh, we have both of these displayed, but it seems like the download would work. Yeah. So the download works, but the error still comes up. Why is that? Let's just remove the error and we'll just log it to the console All right let's try again and the download would work right so if we do this uh yeah but our download is working fine anyway yeah so this is how you create a qr code generator in react and we got to use a new ui library called prime react you can check out the documentation and other components as well uh, it is quite nice and compact library looks good as well and do let me know if you like this tutorial in the comments it gives me motivation to create more content for you please let me know if you would like to learn any other topics as well and uh, if you like this video if you found any value please subscribe to the channel as well and i'll see you next time thanks